Hi everybody, welcome to the Nutty Historian channel. Well, today we're going to talk about the 10 things that you should know about the Revolutionary War. And these are 10 things that history really doesn't want you to know or hides them from you. These are facts, true facts, that we really need to know uh, as Greeks. Well, uh, March 25th is just around the corner and we need to know exactly what uh, happened back then. Well, number one, uh, the notion of a secretive or hidden school, the so-called Krifaskolia, is a not true notion, is a fake notion that the church constructed, the church created to make people believe that the church contributed to the war of independence. The truth of the matter is that it did not contribute at all. As a matter of fact, it was totally against the uprising of the Greeks. So they wanted the Greek people to live in darkness and they didn't want them to rebel against the Turks. Number two, is the notion, the fake notion again, that the bishop Palion Patron Germanos, who raised the revolutionary flag at the monastery of Ayalavra, did not occur at all. As a matter of fact, Palion Patron Germanos, this bishop, was totally against the uprising of the Greeks. So, how would he raise the uh, revolutionary flag. Number three, Odysseus Androutsos, one of the famous warriors of the Greek Revolutionary War. He fought against the Turks, but he tragically had, he tragically died. And how? This is, this is the tragic part. Instead of being killed by a Turk, he was assassinated by a Greek. Yes, you heard right. Andreas Guras was the assassin, and he was a fellow compadre, he was a fellow countryman, and he killed Odysseus Androutsos. He uh, tortured him with a group of other people, Greek people. He, tor he tortured Odysseus Androutsos harshly, and then, while he was half dead, he decided to throw his corpse down from the Acropolis, the hill where the Parthenon stands, and tell the, his own people that Odysseus Androutsos committed suicide because he was desperate. He didn't want to fall to the hands of the Turks, therefore he had to commit suicide. That was a false statement by Guras. The truth of the matter is that Guras assassinated Odysseus Androutsos. It just comes to show you how much love they had back then. Number four. The fourth thing, the fourth factor, or the fourth thing, fact, that you need to know about the Greek Revolutionary War, and history really doesn't tell you that much about it, or you have to search for these things, is that during the Revolutionary War, we had two civil wars. Yes, you heard right. Two civil wars. Greeks were killing Greeks at the same time that the Revolutionary War was going on. So there were three wars uh, f being fought. The Greeks were killing Greeks and this is the truth of the matter that the mainland people called Rumeliotes were fighting with the Peloponnesians, the people from Peloponnesus. So that's the civil war. That's how it occurred. And at the same time, we had Greeks trying to rebel against the Turks. And that's the truth. And I don't know how many schools really teach these things. Let's go with number five. Number five is very harsh. 
and I'm very sad to announce it, but this is the truth. And in this channel, we're always going to tell the truth, no matter what. Monks used to betray the Greeks to the Turks. And that's a shame, because while the Greeks wanted to uh, hide from the Turks, they hid in some monasteries up in Mount Athos, uh, the Ayoros, as they call it, the Holy Mountain, up in uh, Halkiviki. Uh, that's in Macedonia and the Greeks were trying to hide from the cruel and evil Turks and the monks were betraying the Greeks and they were stating to the Turks that here this is where we, they are come and get them they're in the monastery and you can go come and surrender and seize them you be the judge to that Number six, the Greeks had demanded to be paid, otherwise they wouldn't fight. And that's another notion that we really are c accustomed to hearing, that the Greek fighters fought for their country without pay. But in reality, some and or more or most of the Greeks were missionaries they had to pay they had to get paid by someone in order to include themselves in the battle otherwise they wouldn't I wouldn't they wouldn't fight against the Turks number seven number seven is something that not that many people know the people of the Philikieteria were Masons and they served their own interests. This is a truth and let me explain a little bit about this. The Philikieteria was a group of, of people that were secretive. They were supposed to serve as a group of Philhellenes, the people that love Greeks that is, Philhellenes, and they wanted to plan ways of rebelling against the Turks and finding ways to uh, get back to the Turks and f inspire other Greeks and fighting against to fight against the Turks but in reality in reality this was a secret uh, society of true Masons Number eight, as we stated in the uh, other, uh, in my previous uh, video, March 25th, the exact day, March 25th, is not exactly the actual day of the Greek independence. The, 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 there were other battles that occurred before or prior to March 25th. So March 25th again is not the actual uh, beginning of the Revolutionary War. Number nine. There was a secret agreement. There was a secret agreement by the church between the church and the Turks. That is the priests, the patriarch, and the Turks, and the king of the uh, Turks, that's the Sultan, decided that the Turks would not touch the churches at all. They wouldn't harm them. And they wouldn't forbid the Greek language. And they wouldn't forbid the Greek schools. As a matter of fact, in a lot of places a lot of parts of Greece had Greek schools and they had uh, people being educated in those Greek schools. So Turks really didn't care about whether Greeks would in, get, get education or not in Greek. But the secret agreement was that we will not touch your churches, but in return the Turks wanted to keep 
the Greeks in darkness and they didn't want to uh, rebel so to gain their independence so that's the truth and that's number nine and finally number ten is that uh, one of the Greek warriors uh, this is a heroine a Greek heroine she was a lady her name is Magdalene uh, Mavrogenus or Mando Mavrogenus gave all her money for a good cause for the Greek Revolutionary War uh, but got nothing in return by the Greek government there was no recognition no appreciation and she she just died very very poor and that comes to show you how much appreciative the Greek government was to its heroes that fought truly fought for their nation and that's it for today for today uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching and tune in to next time's uh, uh, show and program. Thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.